Hi, it is Kitty Blue. It is April the 19th, and I got a surprise package in the mail. Um, I actually was sitting out on the porch with my puppy dog, and the mailman came up and had a huge box for me. This box right here. So uh, this is going to be a box opening. Um, it is from Dalmore. I do have a few other orders that I'm waiting on, um, but this is the first one that came, and it was one of the last ones that I actually ordered. Um, so, we'll get on with the box opening. And, um, as I said, I do have a couple of other things that I have on order. Um, but I ordered through Denver, uh, Denver Dawn for you. Not for this, but for a different, different one. This one I actually ordered directly from Dalmore, um, because they have free shipping after $500, so <laughs> I figured it was definitely worth going through them to get it sooner than later. Um, but yeah, I ordered some stuff from Denver Dawn that I'm still waiting on, and, um, another place too, so. Here we go, I'm excited. Um, there's lots of stuff in here because I also ordered some things for um, some other people here in Ohio. So they'll be excited to know that the order came in as I am. So that's probably what all of this in here is. Um, I've got a tiny little, tiny little bear. In a pen. And, oh, let's take a picture of the box. I haven't done very many box openings with pictures lately, so maybe this time I'll actually, uh, actually get this up on here. It was very blurry. Box is not cooperating. Okay. So, um, as I was saying, since this is from Dalmore, I do have um, a couple of. I got two MSD sized dolls, and um, all these. Little tiny things are stuff that I bought. Um, this is something I bought some stockings. Bought some other stockings. Some more stockings. Um, I believe these. I believe these black stockings are a part of something somebody else ordered. Oh, such a big box for such tiny little glasses. Something I ordered for. For my dolls, some pair of shoes that um, somebody had purchased, and a pair of pants. Um, I believe these are from somebody else, even though I was going to buy a pair of those, but I didn't. Another pair of pants that I bought, and a bunch of a bunch of eyelashes. So that's all the stuff that. Um, Look right here that belongs to somebody else. Um, I also got some things in here. Here's another pair of lace stockings. It might belong to, I'm not sure if it's part of this set. Pair of shoes. Very big, huge headband that Kyoko will probably like. And a little keychain. I think that was, uh, I think this was part of the, the, uh, free items, um, because my purchase totaled more than $500. Or over $500. And, um, these are. Oh. oh, and this is a this is a bag that 
somebody had purchased, which I thought was for a USD size doll, but it's almost SD size, so I would have to look at that. Hopefully I didn't order the wrong one for somebody. Um, holy crap, these shoes are huge. I didn't realize their feet were this big. But these are shoes that are from the, um, the set with the dolls that I ordered. They're just, they're shaped very weird. So these are the other set of shoes. Same ones. This one looks kind of the same, similar outfit. And these are clothing, which means they're going to be naked when I take it out of the box. Like a little, like a little necklace, a little choker. Oh, these are so cute. The little stockings, they have a little rhinestone bowl on them. And there's a little, little hair thing. And, uh, this is their little outfit. And that's the skirt. That goes with it. And that's for one of the dolls. And this is the clothing set for the other doll. It's pretty much the same thing, except for um, the skirt. The same thing. Same top, but the skirt is um, purple. In that plastic, you can't tell that it's purple. That's a skirt. My computer's shown it as blue, but it is actually purple. Alright. On to the rest. Already taken up seven minutes here. This is one of their. Holy crap, this is long. I didn't realize this wig was so long. That's one of the wigs to um, one of the dolls. And uh, this is the other, other wig. I'll take it out of the packaging when I get the dolls un unwrapped. Alright, moving on. One box. That's cool. There's like gold seals on them. You can smell the smell the resin through the box. It's almost kind of almost kind of don't want to break these seals. They're so pretty. I don't think they'll just. I guess maybe they will. All right. So let's see who's first. Pillows. Manual, because you know you always need a manual with your doll. And directions for taking the packing the packing off. Please remove bubble wrap packing carefully. If you don't sew, if you don't sew, the parts may be broken. Dollmore is not responsible for any damage that occurs during removing packing. So, take a photo. Just 
just in case I need the direction. All right. Holy crap, she's not cute. She's like much bigger than what I thought. Wow. She's like, she's huge. I honestly didn't like realize that these were like that big. I thought they were MSD sized, um, which I, I guess they are. But wow. So anyway, if anybody like recognized the, um, if they're familiar with Dalmore, they probably recognize this, the uh, clothing set as being a part of the uh, Catish series, the Cat Girls. Um, and that is what I have wrapped up in this mummy. There's two of the Catish dolls. If I can find the end of the bubble wrap. Sorry, this is going to be a long video. I haven't done a box with me in a while, so I'm a little slow. She's so pretty. Neither of them have names yet. I will eventually be naming them. And I plan on getting a few more of uh, the cat dolls because I just can't resist. I love, I love the cat dolls. The name wouldn't be Kitty Blue if I didn't like cats. Wow, this color is just, this color is gorgeous, and I really wish that you could see this color on camera, um, or on my video, because it is not doing it justice whatsoever. It's a very, um, it's a very purplish, almost like pink. It's just this really gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, definitely not what I was, not what I was expecting looking at the videos. But that's a good thing. I really, I really love this. Um, it's just always very hard to to see the uh, photos on the website and be able to uh, to do this. Very careful. The resin is really nice. It's a nice smooth resin. There's some lines. Some uh, seam. Seems, but not that bad. Okay. Gosh, she's just like I can't believe I can't, I just can't get over how big she is. Like I said, I just really didn't realize that um you know, this big. Here we go. One foot three. Two foot threes. And I guess they are the high heel feet. Um, I thought they were supposed to be the flat feet. They look like flat feet in the uh, pictures. Oh my gosh. Definitely well packed, which is nice. Freedom! Wow, I just, <laughs> I just can't get over this. This doll is just like really so beautiful. Tell you what. 
if they uh if they made all kinds of resin colors in these cat dolls, I think I would totally reshell all my kitty dolls <laughs> into these guys because these are just so gorgeous. And I think when I actually first saw her on the Oh no, there's another one that's gray. I was gonna say when I first saw her, I thought she was more of a gray color, not purple rose like this, but um she's definitely got a very rosy color to her. That's purple. I'm not sure my, why my screen is flickering. I apologize. I'm doing my webcam webcam on my laptop because um, my lovely, wonderful big camera. This the uh, the video on it for some reason I haven't figured out, and it only takes like five, not even five minute videos. It's just really strange. <clears throat> so until I figure that out, I'm gonna have to deal with just doing the. Um, Keep doing my videos on my webcam. God, this is taking so long. I'm so sorry. It's like already 16 minutes. Maybe I'll have to do a separate box opening for the second one. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I just love these dolls. Dalmar has started to become one of my favorite doll companies. Uh, as you can see, probably in the background, that's the Dalmore Lucian. Um, you can see her box opening in my videos. God, so gorgeous. Wow. There she is. Her joints are just wonderful. These are really nice joints. She's got like a... She's got an extra joint like in her middle here where it's actually kind of clicking, but she can do all kinds of stuff. This is like really cool. Standing wise, I have no idea because um, she's got high heel feet. She doesn't have flat feet. So that's the only probably negative thing that um, I would have to say about this wonderful doll. That and it's just um it's strange that these pieces, the the resins aren't exactly and again my video is not doing this color justice. Her color is like much, much better. Um, I don't think I can get my laptop to uh do it correctly. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video for this and then uh, do a second video to do the box opening of the other one. I'm going to get her get her dressed, um, but oh, I was talking about the coloring. There's The colors are different in between the pieces, which is just very odd. Um, some of it's kind of got like a, a roughness to it, and the other's very, very smooth. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing that I would say, but oh my god. She's just so gorgeous and so huge compared to my um, MSDs. I mean, she's seriously probably almost as tall as my Resin Soul SD doll. I'll have to do a um, comparison with them in the future. So um, thanks for watching. I will get to the next video, get her dressed, and uh, she'll be joining us again shortly. And um, I'll do a box opening for the, the second doll. Thanks.